Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Natasha, and today I'm with my friend, Kara. And we're going to be making an M&M's gingerbread house. Let's get started. Step one, knead the icing for about two minutes. I need you. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Step two, magical hands is gonna put the icing inside of the icing bag. So we just found out that the M&M's workshop box that says it came with four packages of M&M's didn't come with a single package of M&M's. It's all right, we can go to the grocery store and buy some, but it's kind of strange. Anyway, so we put the icing inside of the icing package and now we're going to ice it. So we put the walls and that was pretty hard. So now we're gonna wait for, I don't know how long. Um, we put some stuff to press against the wall so that they don't fall. And um, you have to use a lot of icing on this because the um, walls are really flimsy. So if you don't put enough, they're just gonna fall. Yeah, my, my, I might not be with my friend anymore because this might have to dry for an hour. All right, so put the icing to press and I also added the roof and it was not easy to get these all together. My friend is gone, fortunately, and it's getting later in the day. Um, we went to the grocery store and got some M&Ms. I think it should be enough and we might have a little bit remaining, not sure. So um, this is how it looks like so far. Um, and I'm going to add the inside workshop. Ooh, I got a piece of icing. Mm. Um, so, let's just see if this works. So, we're just gonna put them where they should go, um, and then we're gonna stick them with some icing, add the gumdrops, add the M&Ms, and then we'll be done decorating. All right, so we use the icing to glue the signs. Right now I'm putting on Santa's workshop sign and I'm going to flip it around so that you guys can see it. We haven't done the inside workshop yet. We're gonna do that later. As you can see, we already have a window. And that is basically how the front and the side looks. Like so. So now we're gonna put the inside workshop and then we're gonna decorate with these. And Alright, so as you can probably already tell, I decorated the roof and the sides. And I added the inside workshop. There are some little bits of it that kind of stuck out from the side. I got a lot of icing on my finger. But it tastes good. <laughs> so um, that's basically how the gingerbread house looks. I'm very proud of it. Um, now time for the review. Out of um, five stars, I give this a two, because number one, the icing was very melty. Number number two, um, they didn't provide us M&Ms, which is kind of strange, because it's literally coming from the M&Ms workshop. And number three, it was kind of hard to assemble the walls together, and we barely came up with a lot we barely came out with ice like because literally i had to put like, so much icing on it for like, stay and hold um also i would have liked a wall in the back so therefore i'm giving it a two and then the door was missing too yeah and the door was missing so i wouldn't say it was the best i've ever made so therefore i give it a two out of five so that would be like a d how did it taste? Because I think you tasted a piece of the roof. Uh, yeah, it tasted, it tasted pretty good. Definitely tasted like a gingerbread made with molasses. My heart skipped and I react. Sorry, there's a song that's like, that goes, sweet gingerbread made with molasses. So, um, I think it was pretty fun to decorate otherwise. And the icing was very delicious. So therefore, that's why I gave it two stars, not zero. 
if the icing wasn't delicious and if it wasn't fun to make, then there would be zero. And then who um, doesn't like M&M's? Yeah, who doesn't like M&M's? I want to take a chomp. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, and if you didn't, flip that screen upside down and hit the thumbs down button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The button looks a lot like this. Love you guys. Bye.